how difficult is it to manage these egos of guys who've been, like TJ, he's been a starter every single game he's ever played in the NFL, and now? You know, to, you know the last question from an egos, egos, you know, this, you know, I'm thankful that this isn't, this isn't a team with, uh, well, as, as, as I've, the time I spent with them, with a lot of egos. Uh, these guys are, uh, you know, for the most part, putting the team first and uh, trying to work hard and, you know, understand competition and really embrace the competition, um, understanding that that'll make them better players. Um, so, you know, from that standpoint, you know, I, I, we haven't had very many issues. I'm very straightforward with the guys. The best guys are going to play. I, I think I'm, uh, uh, I'm going to try to... Uh, proceed in that manner and be fair and give everyone an opportunity. So uh, from an ego standpoint, um, you know, I tell the guys, you, you're going to have as much of a role on this team as, as, as you show on the field, in the classroom, in the walkthroughs. And at the end of the day, this is a production business. So um, from that standpoint, I, I, I think, you know, from you know, egos, I don't even like to use that term in football because it's a team sport. Uh, but I know it's, it's a part of the game.